Time management is extremely important for Gopher football players. Most of the guys are up at 6 a.m. They come in, they lift with our strength coaches around 6.45 a.m. You're looking at an extremely long day going up until about 9 p.m. daily. Your fall journey awaits only in Minnesota. I guess being a student athlete here at the, at the U is kind of like having two full-time jobs. Yeah, the time demands of a student athlete is enormous, enormous amount of stress. It's difficult in a um, in way. You not only have to study for books, you have to study the film room for football also. With football practice and a lot of stuff, a lot of our evenings and uh, afternoons are taken up practicing, so you got to be smart about uh, studying and uh, getting everything done. You have to, uh, you know, manage, you know, between classes, your family, uh, football. It's just nonstop. It doesn't end. You know, you can be sick and you still have to go through it. And you still have to attack it like you're 100% healthy or you're banged up. You know, 6:40, got up at 6 o'clock, ready to go, ready to start the week off right. I like a Tuesday. I wake up early in the morning, about 6 o'clock, go and lift. Then I go to class at 8.15. After my science lecture, I, you know, walk to my scooter, get on my scooter, go to uh, tutoring that I have, love 30. Just being able to understand material, don't have as much time to go to the teacher's office hours and things like that, so that resource is huge. Some of the classes, most of the classes, is, you've been a part of, you know, a student at a university, they can be really, really tough, and the tutors really help a lot with that. Um, after tutoring, I have a little bit of time to eat, uh, then I go to uh, practice at uh, 2.30. Practice takes up an enormous amount of time in a student athlete's schedule. We practice from 2.40 until about 6.30. The guys will come up, get taped by the training staff, we'll break up and we'll go down into the individual position groups. After their position meetings, I would normally go in the locker room to hustle up the guys so they're on time to get out to practice. I believe that it's a direct correlation between success off the field and success on the field. You can't be a great football player if you don't strive to be a great student athlete in the classroom. If you go to class every day and you give 150%, when 240 rolls around for practice, you're still going to be giving over 100%. After a long day, you know, Go and eat dinner here, uh, go home, do homework, watch a little bit of film, fall asleep, wake up, and do it all over again tomorrow. The number one thing that we're here for is to help our guys get their degree. We understand that football is important, but we make sure all of our guys understand that academics is number one priority in their life. Uh, for me, I just use football as my break. For those amount of hours I'm in football, it's just football, and then when I'm done with football, it's back to studying. You just try to transition, you know, you set everything to the side and you focus on that one thing. With so much going on between football and school, uh, this opportunity to play football here and be a student um, is a great practice for uh, later in life when you got to balance work and a family and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the most rewarding part of the whole process is, you know, getting the A on the test or you know, winning the ball game, you know. You work hard at what you do, you know. It's over 120 student athletes, and those guys have over 3.0 GPA. And to me, that's amazing. Being a student is a lot of work, and you gotta put in the time to study, and you also, football does take up a lot of time, too. Um, but it's something that I love to do. Um, so balancing those is tough, but it's definitely worth it.